everyone welcome back to my channel i hope all of you guys are okay so today is our second day here in vienna and we're gonna be exploring around the center again so we're just on our way to the center seeing what we see on the way yeah what sights there are it's very hot already it's very hot already so yeah we're gonna be going back to the places that we've seen yesterday from the walking tour and explore a bit more because from yesterday although we we didn't really kind of stay in all of the places that long because we only like went like outside of the places so today we're gonna be exploring more and probably go inside if it's free <laughs> but most of the places that was included in the tour yesterday during the walking tour was free to go in so we'll probably do that as well so let's go okay first stop is this saint elizabeth church it looks really amazing from the outside so let's go in So that's inside Church St. Elizabeth Church. It looks massive in like outside and also inside. <clears throat> but inside is very plain compared to like the other churches that we normally see around Europe. But the altar bit is a bit <clears throat> well it was a bit ornamental as well, but not as grand as like I said the other churches we've seen before. What do you think? Mm. It was a bit of gold. Yeah. It was quite plain. Yeah. But nice, calm. Okay, so we're now here at the Karls Kirche or Charles Church, the one on my right. With the impressive dome. I think you have to pay to get inside. So this church kind of reminds me of St. Paul's Cathedral. looks amazing and then they have this pond thing in here and then they have the fountain no not fountain like a spray thingy mist over there that's happening because it's very hot so it keeps I don't know people cool <laughs> if you want to pass through there yeah it looks amazing the towers are very intricate this towers here Not sure if you can see from the camera, but the carvings on it are very intricate. Guys, we're now here at the next destination. The one on my right, this building behind me, is the National Arts Museum. So you have to pay to go in. It's around 18 euros to get in. And the one on the other side, the amazing building as well, that building is the uh, national no natural history natural history museum so apparently they that museum this museum here they have one of the largest collections of geological and archaeological artifacts in the world so quite impressive and amazing i would love to go inside also but i feel like that's a very big building and it would take like a whole day maybe to explore the whole thing and looking at all the artifacts but yeah since this is our last day here exploring around Vienna 
we won't be able to go inside the Natural History Museum. They have the same thing in London, but it's free to go inside. So we managed to explore the one in London before, but this one, you have to pay it one. Okay, so we're leaving now the St. Teresa Square, that square there, with the Natural History Museum and the National Arts Museum. We're going to this building here, like the Brandenburg Wall in Berlin. Here, another impressive building. But at the moment, it's closed for renovation. They said that it's gonna be open next year, early next year. The other side of the so yeah, that's the library museum. So it's currently closed and it will be open early next year. So this is, I think this is the parliament. That's why they have the buildings over there. Temporary office for the councillors because their office is being renovated as well. Alright, so we're now inside one of these squares here with one of the emperor's statue. The emperors, they really admire, well, not the emperors, but the rulers. They really admire the Romans because they have the empire, so they have emperors as rulers. That's why all their statues look like uh, Roman emperors. That's how they um, adore them. So they kind of emulated the image of Roman emperors even though apparently they're not emperors because they don't have an empire back then. And this building here or this church behind me is the St. Stephen's Cathedral. It reminds me of the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. It looks amazing. It is kind of nestled like in the middle of like uh, modern buildings and a lot of like Baroque style buildings. This one is like gothic style kind of building, right? Gothic mm. style. So yeah, it's a very, yeah, it's a unique style of building compared to the others like around it. So yeah, let's go inside. Alright, so that was inside the cathedral. It was really amazing. A bit busy inside, but yeah. I think it's definitely worth it and you can go in the middle as well but you have to pay extra and then you have like an audio guide that will tell you more about what's like inside like the sculpture and all that stuff so yeah definitely worth a visit even if you just even if you don't pay to have the audio guide just to explore around the area I think it's, it's more than enough I think that's it you guys I'm just gonna end the video here if you like this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and if you haven't yet please don't forget to follow me on instagram which is kaul underscore chan and on my facebook page which is kaul underscore travels we're just walking through the very busy high street <laughs> please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos wait i'm gonna bump into someone else <laughs> follow us on our next adventure 
definitely hit that um, notification bell so that you get notified when I upload that video. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!